Hello everyone. It is now 5.42 p.m. And I'm going to try to do five separate videos of um reading my short fiction short stories that I that you know five of the I don't know how many hundred fiction short stories that I wrote. So, I'm not going to do it all in one video. I'm just going to do um, you know, <coughs> excuse me, um, each one, each separate video. So, first I'm going to do my, um, the first short story that I've written, um, since 2020, someone suggested that I start you know, writing short stories because I wanted to try to work on novels and also nonfiction ebooks. So I'm gonna um read out loud <coughs> excuse me and also put the links in the um description box or at least try, you know. So I'm gonna read the first short story and I'm gonna read one of random short story of the um a random short story of a short story series that I'm working on about cults and I'm gonna do two other one short story about targeted individuals and gang stalking and which also ties in with narcissistic abuse, fiction short stories, you know, and then a, re a re another um random fiction short story that I wrote, and then I'm gonna try to read out the um the most recent short story that I wrote, and if y'all like the short stories, you know, in order to help me survive and make a living with um like um you know y'all can donate or tip if you like the short stories and you can help me you know remain afloat or above with um my homeless situation i mean it i mean it could help me you know to try to stay afloat with survival because what we're dealing here is um with the abuse of narcissistic gang stalkers who are actually um humans who are possessed by demons and they do satan's work to try to steal kill and destroy and so i'm trying to you know this is my therapy to write my fiction short stories and you know try to make a living and they even destroy that too, you know. So, hold on just right quick. So, I wanted to try to be comfortable. Let's see. So, the um first short story that I wrote, um, it's about... You know, gang stalking, narcissistic abuse, and workplace mobbing. So, the f first short story that I wrote, um, and also I sell ebooks on Amazon. You know, like with some fiction and nonfiction, and you can um, you know. I also have a Kofi, not buy me a coffee, but the other one. And, um, uh, my mind went blank, but you know, I also, I also share my short stories for free on Kofi and my blog and people some on rare occasions they have donated, you know, or tip on my Kofi. So here's the short story. No more job for you. And I wrote this on August 13, 2020. 
So it's about narcissistic abuse, gang stalking, and workplace mobbing. And I didn't even have a job during that time. So here it goes. I might have to um censor some things out because of certain things you can't say on social media. But I put the link so y'all can read the whole thing. So it's 4.45 a.m. and it's time for Austin to get up for work. So he turns on the snooze button and then oversleeps two more hours because he has been five days sleep deprived. Then he wakes up shocked and gets dressed. After that, he skips his usual morning shower and breakfast and calls an Uber to come and pick him up since he missed the bus that, okay, the bus runs every two hours. Um... The Uber ends up being another hour late, and he calls his job explaining what happened. His manager, Tyra, answers the phone and then yells at him, berating him, telling him that there is no excuse for his tardiness, and then reminds him of the Bible scripture, 1 Timothy 5 and 8. But if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. After that, she tells Austin that he has one more time to be late for work and tells him that he's one of the most important assets to Greenies Cafe. Oh, I, I noticed that some of my own, um, I noticed some typos. I'm sorry. Austin works part time and is not allowed to make over a certain amount of money because he's disabled and gets SSI and Social Security. But he doesn't have that ticket to work. Yeah, so. He suffers man-made ADHD and a few other so-called mental disorders like schizophrenia and bipolar. But, of course, those are just labels. You see, Austin has two kids to take care of. And he's on child support by his druggy, alcoholic, narc ex-girlfriend, Selma. Then he has to put up with his narcissistic, fake, hypocritian manager, Tyra. Always quoting the Bible and using it to manipulate people. Austin is also, oh, also, Austin is a target individual being gang stalked. And Tyra and Selma are also gang stalking perps. So is the Uber driver that was late. After Austin got off the phone with Tyra, his Uber driver, Dalbert, came, comes to pick him up in a white Mazda 3, arriving with one headlight and wearing a red shirt and a black homemade com Okay. Wearing something that says, always watching, LOL. There's no music when Dalba arrives, but five minutes later, after Austin gets in the car, they have a short chatter. Um, Dalba turns up the music really loud and at the loudest volume, mid-conversation. Then Austin thinks in his head, see... I knew I never should have gotten in this car, but I need to work. I have child support to pay, and I have to survive as well. I can't afford to lose my only job knowing that no one else will hire, no one will hire me anywhere else. <clears throat> then Austin arrives to work finally and gets out of the car, panicky and nervous and rushed and angry at the same time. And he slammed the door, and Dalbert got mad at him, got out of the car, got in his face saying, Hey, man, what you slammed my door for? What is it? Is it my is it my car? Is it my one headlight? What is it? What's wrong with you, dude? You better check yourself. And Austin tried to take a picture that didn't work. Then tried to take a video that didn't work because another perp in a blue Chevy truck disabled Austin's phone. Um... Austin went inside and said, F it. I can't afford to be any more late than I already am. They're holding me back on purpose to set me up to get fired for real. Austin goes to get his, okay. And then he clocks in and go, goes to work. Here comes Tyra with the religious lecture again. So, due to time, I can't finish reading the, two, the last two paragraphs because I rambled on earlier in the video. But I'm going to put the link um, in the description.